Simply Obsessed and welcome to my channel and welcome to my Sims 4 Seasons Holidays official gameplay trailer uh, reaction slash first thoughts video. So if you are new here I want to start off by saying hello and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see I hope that you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to receive upload notifications for my latest videos and if you're already subscribed hello and welcome to you too. <laughs> so um, yeah let's just get into this. So Yesterday, well, before we get into it, let me just say this. So a couple days ago, I saw some people on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter posting a hint that The Sims had released. And it was basically a girl dressed up in winter, like a winter outfit, and she had a box that was like a present and on the inside it said 6-7 like June 7th so today is June 7th and a lot of people were wondering what that whole super announcement would be some people thought that it would have been an update relating to seasons but uh, it turns out that it was this Sims 4 seasons holiday official gameplay trailer um, hopefully there will be an update you know a patch pretty soon with some of the new um, gardening stuff that I had heard about in uh, in relation to seasons I had heard some things talking about um, more in-depth gardening so I don't know maybe that will be released today as far as I know at the time of this recording that hasn't been released but yeah I'm really excited about that I uh, can't wait to see what that offers but yeah we have a holidays official gameplay trailer which I watched about 20 times because I'm, I'm super excited and uh, yeah let me just go ahead and get into it so um, one of the first things I noticed oh let me go ahead and mute this for copyright but one of the first things I noticed and got super excited about was new festivals so um, we got festivals in The Sims 4 with City Living you got the Romance Festival the the I don't know what are the other festivals I can't really think of them at the moment but we have the romance festival and a few others and it's really cool that we want to have new celebrations for our sims so here um, this is a spring celebration I can't remember what it's called exactly um, but yeah this is a spring type of festival get together right here and I absolutely love the whole um, bunny mascot that is so freaking cute and I love the lanterns in the background that you see uh, which is right next to this whole skating rink situation so I can't wait to see that and I just love these lanterns I believe that they're new but I just love the colors it's so springy and happy and just cute and adorable and colorful and another thing that I noticed was this cupcake food stand so it looks like we're gonna have some new food stands that come along with the new uh, type of festivals which is pretty awesome because I love cupcakes and who could say no to a cupcake food stand? Um, but yeah, what else, what else, what else? So, uh, moving along, uh, they talk about, oh, let me go back. I just think that this whole interaction right here, the two girls, um, playing in the sprinklers like that's so cute so yeah you can see that it's a different type of uh, festival I want to say it looks like a summer festival you got a pool in the background like a public pool set up and you have a different stand which looks like a lemonade a lemonade stand which has got me so excited because I love food stands in this game um, one of the tiny things that I absolutely love about the Sims is the food I don't know what it is but I love new recipes and just like little things like that the food stands and new recipes always get me excited um, um, but let's go along and move on to winter so here you can see some kids making a snowman you can see some of the children's uh, winter outfits and in the background you can see these two wooden deer lawn decorations I don't know if you can see them very clearly but I absolutely love those I think those are really really beautiful and they're making some snow angels opening some gifts and all that and and let me pause here. So, uh, with Winterfest, uh, sort of like the Sims play on Christmas, um, there's new activities, there's a lots of new decorations. I noticed so many things in this scene right here. So there's so many wall hangings. You got the cute cards up on the wall. You got this new table. I noticed this new lamp. Um, I believe this end table is new. You can see a cute little uh, reindeer photo with the big googly eyes. Um, just some more wall hangings. It looks like there's a wreath 
by the window and you see a nutcracker and at the tippy top right here where my mouse is doing the crazy circling thing it looks like a thermostat so um, thermostats have been confirmed for the game I personally haven't seen one yet but I believe this is a thermostat and it's red so it probably it's probably making you know the house warm so I think that's a glimpse at the thermostat right there um, but I also noticed the storage bins now how realistic is that like I love that they added like holiday storage bins once the holidays are over it's such a pain to put take down all the lights and everything and put them back in storage and throw them in a garage or wherever and uh, yeah like we don't take down our holiday decorations until maybe February. <laughs> I hate to admit, but I just I just love the little t the little detail of the um, the holiday storage decoration bins over here. And you can see like some holiday hats on the table. I believe this table is new. I love the look of it. And uh, yeah, there's just so many decorations, so many little things in this scene right here. And let's move along a little bit. So yeah, this is Winterfest. There's new activities. There's, uh, let me stop right here. So yeah, this is Winterfest. There's new activities. It's like the Sims Christmas, you know, winter, winter holiday uh, festival. And right here, on the left you can see a better look at those wooden uh, deer decorations that I was talking about earlier and you can also see a wreath on the side of the house which looks so beautiful but yeah so um, Winterfest so there's new activities for you to participate in and participating in such activities can earn your sims satisfaction points which can unlock new traits for your sims so they mentioned um, the ice proof trait and um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be more but I think they only mentioned the ice proof trait in this trailer and here's a look at the reward store so you've got cold acclimation heat acclimation waterproof and storm chaser I'm really looking forward to um, some guy with a motorcycle just driving by my window right now but um I'm really looking forward to the uh, storm chaser uh, aspiration well rewards points thingy what, what is this called um, this thing <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the storm chaser uh, perk because I love chasing storms in real life. Whenever it rains and thunders and gets cloudy and dark, I love it. I love going outside and walking in the rain. And not too long ago, we had a really bad storm and we had some pretty, pretty large size uh, hail coming down. So I went outside and grabbed some. So yeah, I'm a storm chaser at heart. So this is something that I would really love to see in my gameplay. And uh, what else, what else, what else? So yeah, you can see that ice proof uh, and there was heat proof. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about those um, new traits that you can unlock by participating in festivities. And here we got a look at Father Winter. He is such a cool looking dude. I love his outfits. Um, and in this scene right here, you can see uh, some more of the decorations the wall decorations I just I just love the idea of father winter um, in the Sims 3 we really didn't have anything like father winter there really wasn't like a, a Sims Santa so this is pretty exciting I can't wait to see what interactions with him will be like and let's go over to uh, 42 seconds oops I got everything written down in my notes where I was supposed to stop so right here so this is a look at what I believe is the calendar interface hopefully this is something uh, hopefully this is similar to what it will look like in the game I don't know if this was just designed like this for the trailer but here's a look at the calendar which got me really excited because um, this is such a new element for the Sims we didn't have anything like this in the Sims 3 so this is kind of exciting and on this calendar you can see little glimpses little little traces of the season so you can see snowflakes for winter flowers for spring the Sun for summer and the leaves for fall um, you can see a little bit about what the weather forecast is going to be you can see it's going to be sunny one day windy 
Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have some partly cloudy days with rain, maybe a thunderstorm. So yeah, I just loved this quick glimpse at the calendar interface. This is something that I'm really, really, really excited about, guys. And let's move along. So we're looking at spring now, and they're talking about uh, Love Day. So Love Day is pretty much The Sims Valentine's Day. And The Sims 3, one of the things that I loved about spring was the kissing booth that came along with the spring festival. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have a kissing booth in The Sims 4. I thought that would have been kind of cute, but I'm not mad because we have this uh, weather controller. So you can see here that it's raining on during his love day date, but he's going to manipulate the weather and create a sunshine and blue skies for his date. And you can see her outfit, which is absolutely adorable. I love the hearts. Now, for this whole weather controller contraption, I'm wondering if we'll need to be handy or have a certain skill level to fully interact with it. It's cool if you have to be like level 8 or level 10 handiness or whatever. But I really would love for my sims that aren't that handy to be able to have some fun with it and uh, see what happens if they try to use it. So maybe if they're not as handy, maybe they want sun but they accidentally create snow that would be kind of fun to see so I want to see um, how different skill levels interact with the weather controller and next up I want to look at let's see let's see oh well right here you can see the whole skating rink set up and you got the cupcakes in the background and you got the cool skating rink which I'm super excited about and there's also some more lanterns um, the lanterns before had the pretty pastel spring colors but now they just have like pink and red ones with white hearts and let me fast forward to minute 22 seconds all right perfect so here we are looking at the whole add a holiday option so we can create our own holidays i would absolutely love to create a sims version of mother's day or father's day or just some really cool funky type of holidays i think that is so so cool and it's something that i really can't wait to get my hands on and just just create just some really funky family traditions and um here you can see traditions that are going to be related to the holidays that you create so air grievances i can't wait to see what that's about uh you have decorate streaking give gifts water fun i see uh what's his name father winter i see his face down here i see a polar bear and i also noticed countdown to midnight which gets me excited because I think there's a, I think there's a Sims version of a New Year celebration so that's something that I'm also excited about as well so I can't wait to see what the countdown to midnight interaction will be and you also have the option to choose a decoration theme and whether or not Sims gets you have a day off from school or work which is pretty exciting and I'm gonna move along to 130 so a minute and 30 seconds seconds into this trailer you get to see a lot of the um, <clears throat> excuse me you get to see a lot of the uh, build by items I noticed a lot in this scene right here so I think this grill is new I'm not 100% sure but I think it is and I love the charcoal uh, bag sitting under the grill I think I just love little realistic touches like that so I think this grill is new um, you can see that this swimsuit has been used before but this is one of the new swimsuits and you get a glimpse of the toddlers using the toddler pool now on the official trailer the first trailer for seasons you had to look pretty closely in the background to see toddlers using the toddler pool but in this trailer you get a, a better view of the little kiddos enjoying the toddler pool which is so adorable it's got like palm trees and uh what kind of bird is this it's not a pelican i know it's not a pelican for some reason pelican just popped in my head it's not a pelican what is toucan sam he's a toucan right 
don't judge me if I'm having a moment but yeah you got a funky bird some palm trees and I noticed this basket on the side which features some towels and in the corner on the right you can see the sprinkler and there's also some more oh, well, another version of those lanterns and in the back you can see some new uh, seating a new table I love these lights on the side of the patio and I love these plants these are uh, wall hanging plants that are further in the back those are absolutely gorgeous I can't wait to um, decorate my Sims houses with those plants and oh, another shot of the sprinkler and another shot of the toddlers and here they go into discussing fall so I'm gonna go to let's see let's see um, did I go back too far so this is a a um, quick view of what the house will, will what the world will look like in the fall. You can see the beautiful changing of the leaves, and in the background on the right, it looks like another food stand that might sell hot cider. Oh, super excited about that! Can't wait to um, try out these new food food stalls and check out these new recipes. Um, but here in my notes. I said stop at 139. So here you can see that they're playing in the leaves and that they're raking the leaves and that there's some streamers on the outside of the house. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of um, decorations for fall. Um, in the background, you can see those cute little hand turkeys made by the kids. You can see a turkey with the big old googly eyes. I love the leaves hanging in the background. And let's continue on. And I'm going to fast forward to right here. Right here. There we go. Right here. So um, I noticed a new dining dining set. We have a new dining table set situation. I'm not, I can't really see the table, but I am certain that these chairs are new and they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think they'll pair well um, with some items from Vintage Glamour stuff. So I, I love the looks of this table. And you can see that there's new curtains and new plants and some more of the uh, adorable wall hangings in the background. Um, I think that they're going they're enjoying a uh, turkey dinner because this is uh, what is this this is harvest fest so this is this is like Sims Thanksgiving so I noticed a lot of little uh, little decorations uh, in the background uh, while watching the clip about harvest fest you can see he has a new hairstyle new new jacket I believe he was a sim featured in the little less than two second clip that they used as a teaser before seasons was announced and you could just see some of the the, the new outfits like I love his jacket her outfit let me see if I can get a clearer shot um, so you can see his jacket he's got some boots on she's got a nice little uh, sweater dress going on you can see some of the food this looks like a turkey this looks like some bacon wrapped asparagus um, yeah really excited about the food can't wait to see the new meals that come along with seasons excuse me guys <laughs> I had to sneeze um, but yeah, so the next stopping point I had is two minutes and one second. So there's a new woohoo spot. Yay, we can woohoo in leaf piles. I'm really excited about this. I love new woohoo spots and uh, new deaths whenever a new expansion pack is released. I really would love to have shower woohoo come back in The Sims. Um, call me a perv, but I like Shower Woohoo in The Sims 3, so hopefully another expansion pack will include Shower Woohoo. But with Seasons, it looks like we're going to be able to enjoy some uh, some Leaf Power Woohoo. <laughs> and what else, what else, what else? Oh, and at 207 right here, you can see uh, some Sims walking in the snow. People have up their decorations. There's a cute little chunky, chubby snowman with the mittens and the hat. And in the background, you can see somebody slip on some ice. And it's also a good stopping point if you want to check out some of the uh, winter outfits. Let's see. So yeah, I can see the cute hat and the outfit, like the top, the pants, you know, the jacket, the bottoms. Looks like some snow boots. Yeah. So at 207 is a good shot of winter 
and here you can see another shot of summer another variation of the new swimsuit that comes along with seasons those beautiful adorable lamps again I believe this umbrella stand in the background on the left is new I'm not 100% sure but yeah this seems to be like maybe a summer get-together cookout swimming party pool party type situation and then here at 213 it looks like a more in-depth Halloween celebration so with the spooky stuff I think that's the name of it with the spooky stuff stuff pack you can throw like a spooky party kind of have an unofficial Halloween party but it looks like now we're going to be able to have a more official spooky day Halloween party type situation um, I believe uh, I believe that that's going to be a holiday that you can create on your own. I don't think it was one of the initial holidays that they talked about for seasons. But yeah, that whole idea of having more in-depth parties is something that I'm really excited about. Can't wait to see how it works. And you can see this jack-o'-lantern dude in the background. The jack-o'-lantern dude was included in the snippet before they released the seasons. That whole little two-second clip that they shared. He was the jack-o'-lantern dude that scared the guy. So I'm wondering if he's going to be like the skeleton in Jungle Adventure where you can interact with him and joke with him and, and be friendly with him. Or if you'll be able to maybe add him to a household or maybe have him be like Bone Hilda in The Sims in The Sims 3. Maybe you can have him join the household and be friendly and help out and things like that. I don't know. We shall see. Um, we have to wait until June 22nd uh, to, to see all this stuff for ourselves, to get our hands on it. And here at the end you can see this ice skating sim in her cute little ice skating outfit. So yeah, this was my, my quick look. Some of the things that I noticed um, first I don't even say this is a reaction video but my first impressions video for the Sims 4 Seasons Holidays official gameplay trailer um, I bet you there's so many other things that I didn't notice but yeah I just can't wait until June 22nd I can't wait to get my hands on this I can't wait to start a let's play series there's just so many things that I can't wait to get my hands on and try out um, so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think about the whole holidays and creating your own celebration holidays aspect of the sims 4 seasons let me know what you guys think is that something that you're excited about is it something you can do without what are some of the things that you notice what are you looking forward to um what are you not looking forward to just leave a comment below letting me know i love hearing from you guys i love having little conversations with you guys because you guys are awesome so yeah i'm going to go ahead and end this video here i hope that you guys have a really awesome day and i will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.